Super Final Wars, Zeke and Aaron both roared at at Mecha Godzilla and charged dead him. Mecha Godzilla realized that he couldn't take on on two Godzillas and one Kong. But then he ended up realizing, saying that he's kind of basically connected to the other mechas that G Force has been working on. He used his little alpha call and woke up the other mechas. Mecha Godzilla 1, 2, Super Mecha Godzilla, Type 1, Type 3, Kiru, Ready Player 1 Mecha Godzilla, Mecha King Ghidorah, and of course, Anime Mecha Godzilla. When they all arrive, I'm right, sure Final Wars, Zeke and Aaron turn around. Are you kidding me? He called for backup. Wait, how do you know that it's from Final Wars? That has been what that Alpha call was about. He was calling for reinforcements. He realized that he can't take on two Godzillas and one Kong. <sighs> well, this is just great. It's how are we going to deal with this? Okay. Do you two think you can kind of hold off that Mecha Godzilla? Are you kidding me? You, you think you can hold them off by yourself? Look, I've been down to the Hollow Earth and I've been hibernating for the past... That's three months now. I can handle this. Zeke and Aaron charged at the other... At, of course, the main Mecha Godzilla. While Sir Farmer's charged at the other Mechas. Zeke and Aaron did what they could to hold off of the the head leader Mecha Godzilla. <clears throat> but of course, the main Mecha Godzilla was way too powerful. That and Zeke and Aaron had been wasting the majority of their energy just fighting Super Final Wars just a couple of hours ago. So they were basically kind of worn out. The same thing was went with Super Final Wars, who was having trouble fighting the other mechas. <clears throat> Aaron, is it just me or this mecha godzilla's This is way too powerful. That and we've been wasting the majority of our energy just fighting Super Final Wars since not long ago. You have a point. Aaron, what the heck were we thinking? What do you mean? Facing Super Final Wars while we should really be facing the real enemy. And plus, I can't believe you were, you were gonna trick me about the whole thing. Zeke, I honestly don't really care about your dream. But Super Final Wars has a point. Even if we resumed our plans, this our plans was just basically upsetting the balance in nature. That's the reason why he's a king in the monsters. You're right, Aaron. You're just right. I don't know what was I thinking. <sighs> I really wish I should have thought about should have thought about this. There's more. Backwards from Final Wars, he was having a very difficult time fighting all the mechas, attacking him all at once. He realized that they were not going to stop until they reached to their master. See, you guys don't want to go down so easily. Fine then. <sighs> well, I guess 
Before Sir Farms can continue, Mecha King Ghidorah wrapped, well, uses two heads to grab Sir Farmworth's arms and wrapped his middle neck, well, his middle head around Sir Farmworth's neck, holding him back and choking him at the same time. And while the other Mechas fire their beam, beams, missiles, everything, but nothing appeared to be facing Sir Farmworth's wars. He was just way too tough. He tried shaking off Mecha King Ghidorah, but Mecha King Ghidorah didn't even move. <sighs> that suddenly, Sufarnas felt a lot of anger and rage about something. Mainly, he was looking at Super Mecha Godzilla. He ended up remembering about something. That happened back in 1993. Well, when his father got attacked by Super Mega Godzilla, he ended up remembering how his father almost died. And all the anger and rage that he had with Aaron and Zeke not too long ago was gone. And was replaced by this new anger and rage. He tried his best to shake. Mecha King or off of him, but nothing thing was working. Back with the other the Super I mean, Godzilla Tells 23 and Super and Mecha Godzilla Tells 23 wanted to go down there and help them out. We have to go down there and help them. Super Fire Wars is outnumbered. But and Aaron and Zeke are getting their butts whooped by that other mecha godzilla. Hold on, hold on. But what is it, Kingdom Death 3? I'm not sure if that's a good idea. But what what why? Look at Sufano with his face right now. Look at his face. They all looked at Sufano with his face and they were shocked and they were just filled with fear now. A lot of fear. And there was something about that look. That terrified the living crap out of them all. Um, I do not like that look. I wasn't until Emma noticed something very peculiar about his Super Final Wars spines. They were flashing differently. I don't know if that's supposed to be normal or what, but can you guys see that? See what? Look at your form with his spines. They're not flashing as if he's about to fire his atomic breath. They all saw what Emma meant. And they clear were and she was clearly not lying. Back with Aaron and Zeke, they saw all Sir Fun Wars and the pure anger in his eyes. It's the rage, all of it. And they saw how the way his spines were flashing. And suddenly, Aaron had an idea. Zeke, I have an idea, but it's kind of stupid. What's that? Repeat after me. Hang on, I got. Just sit back, be quiet. Okay. Super Final Wars. Super Final Wars was, was barely paid any attention, but he was listening to Aaron. Are you seriously going to let these mechas kill you? Think about it. G Force is responsible for the death of your father. Remember? I know my father was a was responsible for the death of your mother, and I'm sorry. I truly am sorry. And if you want to punch me in the face, you can. But not until you show these mechas who's the real king of the monsters. Your father didn't die in vain. He died for you. So you can live on. But you can't live on if you're gonna let these mechas just kill you right here, right now. I mean, think about it. 
How long has G4 been killing innocent monsters who've been minding their own business? You're the Alpha, right? Your main job is to protect the heck the whole monster kingdom. Zeke, what was the last thing that Hiccup said at the end of How to Train Your Dragon 2? The Alpha protects them all. He protects the pack. He protects every single number. Even if those numbers happen to do something very wrong. So far, I was, was very confused on what was happening. But then what Aaron ended up saying next. So far, I was, was realized what was happening. Think about it. If they're going to kill innocent monsters, it's only going to be a matter of time before they kill Emma. And your unborn child. Wait, how did you know about my unborn child? Uh, you had a spy, didn't you? Yeah. Well, that's besides the point. Think about it. If they kill M uh, and your unborn child, well, then you're going to be all alone again. You've been alone all this time. And even with Hanji raising you as her, her adopted son, your mother and father loved you. And they still do. But look, you can't make make them proud what if you're gonna die here. Think about it. Your parents died for you. But you have someone to live for. You have have Emma. You have your friends to live for. And think about it. Once when these machines are done with us, they're gonna move on to every other monster. They're gonna kill them, including your friends, your family. So Fars grew even more angrier and angrier and angrier. And his spine started flashing faster and faster. So how about this time you show? Oh, not just these robots. Not just G-Force, but the whole world. It's time for you to show them who's the real king of this planet. This is your world. We're just living in it. You're right. This is my planet. And I'm not going to let anyone stand in my way. That's right, get angry. Or get even more angry. Kids out three and I realized what they were trying to do. He then looked at everyone else. Guys, we gotta help them. We have to make, make Super Fun Wars very, very angry. Zelda has to come up with something. Uh, Super Final Wars, I stole all your Mountain Dew again. Hey, Super Final Wars. Of course, you're not the king of the monsters. Aaron's the king. Hey, Super Final Wars. I'm gonna date Aaron without your permission. Everyone was saying bad, bad things, but it wasn't working. It wasn't until Emma ended up saying something thing that no one was ever gonna forget. Come on! Frickin' rage! Go rage mode! Go rage!